hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is omar you're welcome if you're just joining for the first time you are welcome we appreciate your coming please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you've been an old subscriber thank you so much i love you always all right guys today i have come to teach you how to make things to come to pass how to do do as i say using natural recipe do as i say do you always talk to people and they do not give you listening ear even if you're doing business you're trying your best to convince this person that this your product is highly effective this your product is the best and you're sure of it you know that you're saying the truth i'm not saying you have fake things and you're trying to convince people that what you are selling is good no it won't work for you because you ne you cannot achieve that using this natural recipe you might want to go to other products all right yes what i mean is this like some some married women they do not their husbands do not even see reasons to take care of them. They have this, they have money. Their husbands have money, but he he doesn't like giving the wife money. Some husbands even prefer to go to the market and buy things themselves. They do not give their wives money. It's not because they want to be romantic. No, it's because they just don't want you to have any money. I've seen someone who is from another state and married to a man who is in another state. This man is is thinkingly rich very wealthy man he has hotels here and there he has properties he has cars he has houses right this woman is living in a mansion she's driving a big car she has a jeep but she doesn't have money of her own she does not have money of her own the, the man has this mindset that if he starts exposing the woman to his money the woman might either harm him or even you know starts misbehaving in the marriage but it's not so at least you should trust your partner you should trust someone that that has already you know given you kids you understand this woman will keep complaining and all that and the man refuses to he he opened a shop for this woman but everything that goes on in that shop all the people that are working for them they are workers there they remit money directly to the man and the woman is answering big man's wife but he, she cannot even boast of 100,000 naira in her account. The man is scared of a lot of things. Inferiority complex. He's so scared. He has his, this, he has this, um, ten, he, he has his insecurity. He's so insecure. You understand? But when he goes outside, people will be saying, ah, you're, 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 when the woman comes outside, people will be admiring her. Oh my God. I wish I married your kind of man. Your man is so rich and you're not lacking anything. You're this, you're that, you're this. Do you know that? In 2000, this woman told me something in 2017. She said she got a, a visa to the U.S., all right, to travel to see her sister who stays in the U.S. with their son. They wanted, they wanted to travel so that at least they will go on vacation since the husband refuses to. Do you know that the man agreed, though? All of a sudden, he said, no, he's not allowing the woman again. That the woman will go there and marry another man. Simply because he heard a lot of things about the about the wife's state. It, it feels that they are so, you know, that they are well exposed and they can do anything. But it's not true. His wife is not like that. He has refused to see the uniqueness in his wife. He has refused to see that everybody is not the same. He even refused to see that upbringing differs. The way I was brought up is not the way that every other person was brought up. He has refused to see the good side of his wife. Every time he's accusing his wife, when he, when, he, when she goes to the market, the man will start saying, I, I hope you are not seeing your former boyfriend. Yeah, you are doing this, you are doing that. You know and all this. It's not okay. So this woman started looking out for spiritual materials to start using so that the wife, the husband will start loving her natural spiritual remedies so that the husband will start loving her you know loving her just the way she is you understand she did this and it worked perfectly for her all right yes she used only but this this is alligator pepper guys don't mind me see how i do my alligator pepper i always use this to color my alligator pepper Nzu. this is white chalk Nzu. that is um white chalk and this is alligator pepper 
I use it to color my it's my own way of activating my alligator pepper you might want to try it I have my reasons which I won't make known to you all right guys I want to teach you what you have to be doing so that the natural ingredients in this alligator pepper will start working in your favor anytime you need something when you open this alligator pepper, after praying with it, take four seeds, put two here, put two here, and then talk to the person. In the mornings, when you wake up, pray with alligator pepper. After praying with alligator pepper, if you have, before you present yourself, before using this fruit, use one to cleanse your body in case you have done anything sexual intercourse in case you had a dream in the night in case that you were fed in the dream a lot of things to remove negative energies remove to do cleansing you have to use one seed you use it to cleanse your body after cleansing your body you trash it then you can now use other ones to manifest what you want i'm telling you it will work for you even if you even if it's your boyfriend that does not give you anything and you know your boyfriend has it use alligator pepper i'm telling you i've seen a woman that alligator pepper saved herself and her husband from embarrassment their their landlord wanted to cost them the landlord was ready to come and throw things out of their house that very day it was alligator pepper that this woman used to put in her mouth put in their pockets and then they approached him the the landlord the landlord that was really so fuming with anger and all that all of a sudden the man stayed calm like an ice an ice water i'm telling you and they were able to they allowed them to stay in the house in the in in the house until they, they were able to raise the money they would pay them i'm telling you you cannot use this to do evil you can only use it to do good something you know that genuinely you need this and you know you deserve it you have to be you have to deserve it it's not that somebody that you are not you know you don't have anything to do with this person this person never promised you anything this person doesn't you don't have anything to do with the person or maybe you did something wrong to the person and the person is angry you need to make sure that the person is at peace with you first before you start using it it's not that you put it in your mouth and start commanding the person if it's like that people will put it in their mouth go to the bank and say give me all the millions in the bank no it doesn't work like that do you understand it doesn't work like that endeavor to always add seven seeds of alligator pepper inside your water beating water my dear if you do this there is no how whatever you want you will not manifest you, whatever you want you will not get it as long as it is not evil as long as it's something that will have to benefit you as long as you're, you're you're asking for help you know from the universe he will grant you the universe will grant your heart desires i'm telling you you can be using this even in your house sometimes try and chew alligator pepper gargle it in your mouth then you spit it out you can do this with seven seats four seats or eight seats it depends all right if there is something you want to go for put alligator pepper inside your mouth put some inside your pocket or inside your wallet even inside your purse you can put it there and then you can you can move you'll be rest of assured that as long as it's something that you it's yours you will finally get it I'm telling you, if a man has three girlfriends and he's planning to settle with one, my dear, the person that keeps making use of alligator pepper will be the one he will settle with. Though. Because one is that whenever you are with alligator pepper, evil surrounding, evil surrounding you will be far away from you. The only thing is that it doesn't last forever. Alligator pepper is a continuous practice. That's just the only difference. You have to keep using it. It's not something that you use only once and say, oh, I've done it. No, you have to keep using it. You have to keep renewing it. The potency of this does not last more than 12 hours. You understand? So if you want to use it for something, within 12 hours, you use it. And then it can also extend to 24 hours. It all depends. Do you understand? It all depends. This alligator pepper is very powerful. If you have something, just make use it within one hour, two hours, like before you face that thing that you want to face. You will see the power that lies in this. This is not a joke. I'm telling you, one thing about this alligator pepper is that when you are using it, even when you use it to have your bath, or maybe you chew it and all that, when all the things, if the hatred that they gave you spiritually is in your mouth, when you speak, people will listen to you. People will start loving you unconditionally, for no just cause. People will see you, ah, God, I thank God for, you know, this person's life. 
God has really created her well. God has really created it well. And people, you know, for not just because you're not the most beautiful, you're not the most handsome. It's just the natural love. You understand? Natural love. This alligator pepper, God has blessed us with it. Very powerful seed. I'm telling you guys. Go and do this. You will see what will happen. You will be happy that you did. All right okay guys this will be all for now right yes um don't forget to hit the subscribe button like our videos share our videos invite your friends and family to share in this wealth of knowledge and drop your comments too thank you and god bless you all see you guys in my next one bye